everyone, I'm Leona and welcome to another video. What we're going to do this time is these beautiful sun catchers. How gorgeous are they? You can hang them up on your bedroom window. Beautiful and so easy and so simple. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what you will need is some ribbon. I've got purple here, but you can use any color you like. Some sellotape, a pair of scissors. You'll need a glue stick a pencil, some paint brushes, some glass paint. Now this one is a spirit based glass paint but you could use a water based one. So I've got some white spirit but obviously if it's water based paint use water. Um, some tissues, here are lots and lots of tissues and you'll need some black card. Here I've got two sheets of A4 size card and you'll need your transparent film. Now you can see that's what it's transparent film. It's transparent film, that's what it does. You can get this online, craft shops, that's everything you need. So first of all, what you wanna do is you wanna get your transparent film and you need to make four squares. So I would suggest getting the scissors and cutting your four squares now what you need is you need two that are exactly the same so two pairs that are exactly the same size and it's nice to kind of do two smaller and two larger now you can measure these if you wanted to it to be absolutely perfect but nothing is perfect in life so don't stress and don't use rulers you can just hold it there and you can get the exact same size. So you've got two there. And then I'm gonna do two a little bit bigger. There. So that means you've got your two pairs of transparent film ready to go. So let's just put that to one side. And the next thing you wanna do is you wanna get your black card. Now this particular one is kind of shiny on one side and matte on the other. I'm gonna to choose to do the shiny side for the front, but obviously whatever black card that you've got, more than likely it's gonna be the same on both sides. All right, so what you need to do is you need to make two squares to go around your squares. And they need to have um, a gap around them. So when you're drawing around your squares, I suggest that you kind of estimate around a centimeter and a half, two centimeters around when you're doing it. Again, you can measure, you could use a ruler if you wanna be absolutely precise and perfect, but I just prefer to do it by eye really. So it's just easier, quicker, and the results are still the same. Same with the other one. You've done your templates and you need to cut everything out. So we'll do the squares first, we'll cut those ones out. And then we'll cut out the rectangle. Okay, so that's that done. And then what I suggest that you do is just double check. You wanna double check that these are the same size. So if you haven't measured them with a ruler, you just wanna put them against each other and just cut away any excess so that they're exactly the same size. That's really important. Okay, so that's all that trimmed and looking lovely. So we've got our two rectangles there. We've got our two squares there. We've got our two squares of transparent film and we've got our two squares there. So we're ready to start. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do the glass paint now so let's leave our card to the side and what we're going to do is bring some tissue underneath because this does get a little bit messy so you want to have lots of tissue so you don't get paint on your work surface so we've got our it might be hard to see on the camera but these are their two little squares of transparent film so what you want to do is you want to lay them so they're just sitting adjacent to each other so we've got one here and then we've got one there okay and you're going to drop your glass paint onto one of the squares and then you're going to seal it together okay so what you want to do before you do anything is just get your sellotape ready and just having it hanging off your table or in your dispenser or whatever you've got ready 
to do that stage. Okay, so we're all prepared, let's go. Let's get our glass paint. I'm gonna do red first. As I said, this is a spirit-based glass paint because I just think it works a little bit better than the water-based ones, but the water-based ones do still work. So what you need to do is get quite a lot of paint onto your brush. So you need to kind of drop it on as if it was almost like in a little pipette. You can use pipettes for this and I do, but I just thought it's easier to show you with a paintbrush because I mean, who has a pipette line at home? So you wanna do some nice big splodges and you can just feel free to decide where you wanna do it. I'm gonna put one there, maybe put one there. So there's quite a lot of paint on this. You're not wiping the brush as you would do normally if you're kind of doing something really neat. Okay, so we'll get our purple glass paint and we're gonna do the same again. We're just gonna do some nice big blobs of purple just in between the red. Can you see how there, there's not really much on that one, so it definitely needs to be stronger, it needs to be in like a nice big blob. And then we'll get another color, one more color. You can do as many colors as you like. Okay, <laughs> so there you go, there you've got all your blobs. Now, this is the fun part, this is the exciting part. You're gonna get your sheet, other sheet of acetate, the one that fits exactly on top. I'm gonna place it gently, how cool is that? You can just keep kind of swirling it round. Other things you can do is you can lift it up like this and then put it down again and then you kind of get these air bubbles. So you can peel it off. You might want to add another colour, so you can peel it off, add another colour, do what you like. And then just kind of press them around and then can you see whenever I'm pressing I'm getting this kind of gap of white. So that looks really cool because then it's like another sort of effect and that's going to look really awesome when you put it on the window it's going to look super fab all right so that's one of them done i'm happy with that i think that looks really cool really nice so i'm going to do my rectangle now so you want to put this to one side so the next step is you want to get both of your gorgeous windows there and you need to seal the edges because can you see how the paint started bleeding on the outside you might want to get a bit of tissue and just make sure the edges are dry you need to seal all this up because otherwise if you hold it up it's all just going to bleed out so we need to get sellotape and seal every single edge that goes round so let's do that now so every time you press it, it changes the design, which is super, super cool and interesting because now we've got all these little bubbles and stuff. So don't worry as that's happening. you just got to go with it. you just got to see how it comes out. And you want to get your tape. Let me just move that one down. Get your tape and just tape the edges across and you're going to fold the tape around. So in, in effect, you're kind of creating this little pocket and you've got to make sure that the corners are all sealed up because you don't want any of the paint bleeding out at all. So just double check, so I'm just sealing that hole there that I knew that I had before. All right, so how beautiful are they? They're done, they're ready. So let's go onto our frames now. So what you want to do is create a frame now and it's really, really easy to do that. All you've got to do is fold your frame in half and don't press all the way here there's no need to do that and you just want to cut this is the crease here so on the crease you want to cut into the frame uh, a couple of centimeters that is but it can be any width really it's up to you it's better if it's a little bit thicker just so it's all supported and strong and you cut down there and then you pull that away, you've got your beautiful frame. So now you need to do that three more times. Okay, so next step is to seal everything together. So you want to open up your squares and get your square piece inside. And then you need to tape that all the way around. Then what you want to do is you want to get your ribbon sorted. So bring in your ribbon 
and you want to cut a piece so this one's going to go on the top so we need to kind of make a little loop with the ribbon so you just simply fold it over like that easy peasy get your scissors cut that piece off so that's going to be our loop at the top and then we're going to have another one another piece of ribbon coming through the middle so this only needs to be really short this is only as long as my thumb and we're going to stick that in there so let's stick those down with the tape and stick it on all right awesome so now the last final final step is you want to get your glue stick and you want to stick the back on to the front all the way around and then you want to place your frame on the top how gorgeous does that look there's your finished beautiful sun catcher so don't forget to subscribe for more videos and please check out the video below where you can do this technique but on a Christmas card. How good is that? See you in the next video.